We're at the National Building Museum here in Washington, D.C., and the exhibition is called Designing for Disaster. It's about trying to find and promote any way we can to reduce the impact of natural disasters before they occur. We didn't want this to be a negative exhibition. We didn't want it to be heavy about all, all the horrible things that happen with a, a natural disaster. What we really wanted was a more positive message that, or a hopeful message that there are things that we can do so we don't have to continue to have the, uh, the losses that we've suffered in the past. The wall of wind here is an important part of that exhibition because it focuses on how design and specifically um, even with this interactive, how simple things like the shape of your roof can actually have a profound impact on if your house is going to make it through or not. So we all know the wall of wind at FIU and the work that we do. And we do lots of research uh, testing as well as uh, industry testing. So it's an important facility for research. But the idea came up, why don't we take what we do with the real wall of wind and now let's create an exhibit. Let's actually now bring it out into the community and have the opportunity for moms and dads, even kids, now to interact with the wall of wind, build little houses and see what happens. We live in a country that has many types of natural disasters. We talk about fire and flood, hurricanes, all kinds of things that can affect our way of life. And so that's what's shown in the exhibition. We see what we have to deal with. Now here with the wall of wind exhibit, we are the ones to help come up with the answers. We know the kinds of disasters that can hit the United States, and they're not going to go away. So how do you fight them? With knowledge and engineering and research. And what we try to bring in here are the best practices, the best thinking that's going on, what can we do to make our world better. And there are engineers who are thinking about it, and there are uh, teachers who are thinking about it. And so we all come together and really um, hopefully advance people's thinking um, on subjects such as designing for disaster.